Hello and welcome to another episode of the Weekend Review right here on Flint Health Communications, your number one go-to source for credible and timely health information. My name is Victor Wabari. My name is Eunice Felicity. Yep. So welcome to our Weekend Review today. So Victor Wabari, how is your weekend? How has your weekend been? You know, from Friday last time mm -hmm. you saw, uh, you were so um, I'm so excited terrible. to go back home. So what happened? Well, what, what did you keep at home? Like well, <laughs> did I really keep anything at home? Let's go back. <laughs> well, my weekend was um, it was great. Okay. I think I I didn't I didn't have some of the horrible experiences I've been having over the course of the previous weekends. You know, waking up every day to knowing that new bad things and terrible things yeah. are happening around you. Except for the fact that yesterday uh, there was a terrible incident. Okay. in my community my house my neighbor what happened? at 12 a.m he had a fight with his wife his wife is pregnant what's going on with 12 a.m 4 a.m 5 a.m like i was standing i was standing in the kitchen i was looking out I, I watched the whole it's just like a movie i watched the whole scenario like what happened? Okay, the man, the wife is pregnant, and okay. you know this thing ladies have, pregnant women have, you know, sometimes it could just be, I see their head is touched. Mood swing. No, they have a mood, mood swing, swing in here. <laughs> That's the so, word. <laughs> so normally, you know, this man, and I think she's about seven to eighth month okay. pregnant, she's close That's to delivery month. and all of that, so it's really, okay. she's really heavy. And her husband is this person that comes back late, actually, legitimately, it's been like that over the course of their marriage. They had, they've had two children. How, so, how legitimate do you, do you know? Well, due to the nature of his... I'm not trying to cite him, but okay, I feel no, that's how, no, he, get, no, that's how he's been coming back home okay. for the past five years since I've known oh, okay. them. Like everybody in the community knows know that. that okay, that that's when he comes back okay. home and all of that. And she's been cool with it. I don't know outwardly we've known her to be cool with cool it. With no it. issues and all of that. Yeah. But just yesterday, the man came back at the same time, past 10. And she wouldn't open the door. Why will you come <laughs> back to my house? Why will you come back to my house by ten? Without any legitimacy. It's reason. our house. No, excuse me. It is my house. <laughs> it <laughs> it is our house. house. <laughs> it is our house. So that doesn't give you the right to come back late. Well, well, wherever you say. the fact that I'm heavy. Heavy. What if something happens and I, I want to give birth? To okay, woman? but she didn't wait for the man to explain. I felt due to the fact she was pregnant, the mood swing and all of that. She yeah. just started insulting the man. Ah. The man should go back to where he's coming from. He should go back to his prostitutes and all of that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that okay, she has okay, just okay, been... Okay, I'm okay, telling okay, you the okay, truth. Okay, now, that word... He should go back to his prostitute. Exactly. That means a lot of things have been going, how, uh, going on no, no, it, under the bridge. No, here's we the thing. don't know about. Things do not really have to go under the bridge at four times. It could just be her saying that thing due to the condition. She was, okay, people let's, say let's, things not because they've had conceptions there's about you. actually something about women that you guys don't know about. Please tell us. We, we are this kind of people that we observe things. We keep quiet not because mm -hmm. we are fools but because we just want to like okay let there be peace you know we get it. but you know there are times but for a woman to actually bring out that word and say go back to your prostitute there are a lot of things going okay down. let me tell you something do you know there are times will you agree with me that there are times where women just get nasty just no i know I, I, i'm not i'm not disputing no, that, that was okay here's the thing that was not the only thing she said she okay. said that and she also went ahead to say that for the past six years she has just been managing him. That is a dumb head. <laughs> no. What you what you say about that? Dumb, like it is terrible. Is it In fact, the people who came out, the people. Who came, let me tell you head? exact words. Let me tell you exact words. Oh my goodness. For the past six years, I just been managed this man. Now Mumu in the not in the head. That's what she said. And people could understand that yes, yeah, because oh she goodness. was pregnant and all of that. But she took it too far. Even the people that now came to start begging, God started getting pissed off and no, all of that. Really. We there's this we our power is now mouth. God give us that special yeah. power. So <laughs> you know you don't piss a woman off because the words you're going <laughs> to get <laughs> it will send you back to, to memory I, lane. <laughs> come on. This man has been providing, he's been catering, he's been loving. But just because just this day he becomes a dumb head. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it. But here's the thing. In as much as um yes we we actually said what she did was bad she insulted yeah, him and all of yeah. that but this is where the man got it wrong he allowed those words to 
reached to him to and he snapped her. He snapped yeah, her? Yeah, he did oh snap her. And that's when the men around now became angry. Oh okay, God, you shouldn't have. Definitely. We understood, yes. Like yes, he was, definitely. See, she was two, angry. Two can and he snapped make her. Right. That, that's what but he was really, you just give a very light slap. Oh. <laughs> very light one because I was watching. <laughs> what did I like? It's a well, for a Compared pregnant to one, is a heavy one. <laughs> Compared to what another man would have given. Mm, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Let's, I think. Say, let's say it's light. But then like, it was yeah. wrong. It's, yeah, it's yeah. in no circumstance should a man lay his hands <laughs> on a lady. It's <laughs> it's <laughs> less. It's degrading of a man to. No, we we to really understand the that. fact that he actually he was peaced. Yeah. And he snapped. But the thing is. Definitely, you don't need to. You don't need to. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't. You don't. Women are, women are just this fragile people that, mm. uh, we don't have strength. In as much as okay, we we come out and and we show off that we are strong and mm. all those things. Yes, we are strong when it comes to strength. Mm. Yeah, women that are physically, you know, fit and all that. But we are very fragile. We are. Your power is fragile. in your mouth. Our power is now mouth. That's what it is. One word <laughs> from a woman can send you back to your, to, to your location. I can imagine how my last night thinking, why are you dumb head? <laughs> and everybody was around. Everybody was around, he gets it before the old no, people. He has thought about him going out of the house in the morning and people were like, see that dumb head, you know they go up. <laughs> Not to the head. <laughs> And he's like, it's a woman that I married with my own money. You get it. That, 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 that is memorizing me like this. <laughs> so that was my experience for me. Yeah, the horrible one, yeah, even though yeah. it was more like for a comedy it, scene. It was but... like a comedy <laughs> scene, actually. I would have just captured this. I've been laughing. <laughs> so tell us, how was yours, Eunice? Mine was cool. Mine was cool. Mine was just normal. I, although I, I had to do one or two works. Just normal. Yeah. Sassy, church, and everything. Yeah. It was cool. And I also, I, I went... I went out to see some friends, and uh, that was all. That was just basically it. Mm. Yesterday, Sunday, uh, yeah, a friend of mine came out like, "Oh, girl, let's go out." And I'm like, "Okay, let's go." <laughs> <laughs> and that was basically it. That was now, it's it. necessary because all work with all play makes Jack a doll boy. So there are times where you just need to go and just a chew man. a doll. <laughs> to Jack has grown, please. A doll, a doll man. <laughs> a doll man. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we are just moving straight to the weekend trends you see what happened okay talking about um this um 2 a.m wahala mm. and fight i i got uh, i saw a clip of uh, a, a girl that had a, a, a an issue with her, her boyfriend and not even her husband though she had an issue with her boyfriend and uh, the boyfriend was like i call it quits mm -hmm. i don't do again i'm mm. done i don't want again so she didn't talk to the guy. She she went back home calm in South Africa. This happened in South Africa. So she she went back home calm and you know crying and all of that. And mm. then by uh, uh, around four a.m. in the morning, early very early in the morning, she went with her friends. Let's go and show this guy. <laughs> that was when she went to go and knock on the guy's door. We need to settle this now. You know, <laughs> this is the time that everything is supposed to sink. <laughs> so what we want to is about that. <laughs> well, well I, I don't, I don't understand. Just like you said, ladies are dynamic. You can't yeah, really even really. tell. She, you showed me the video <laughs> this morning. I, it was crazy. Like she was shouting. Like, she was shouting. No, like, ah, what, what, like, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? And she looked so decent. Yeah, for, for what she was, she was doing training. actually. And, and then like. This girl is so she's so beautiful and if if I, I walk past her on the street I'll be like, Oh how this is a very decent mm. girl but mm. What I was seeing there, well, that was unnecessary. It, doesn't, it doesn't add up at all. It was unnecessary. It if a guy up. tells you it's over, it's over. If you guys cannot talk things to come together, just go your way. You get another person who's gonna love you, you even more person. than that guy had ever loved you. you. Get another but that's person. and that's the mistake many people make in relationships to feel that if they let go of this I won't get. I won't, I won't get someone who will love me like this guy. No, That's not no. true. Let go and you see a better person. Who you come are in very love you. unique. You are very special. Whoever That's you are, right. there. Out there, don't feel like okay because this person left you. It's like, you're supposed to be giving God the glory. Like it was so degrading. She yeah. came out to his compound, was shouting around for him. <laughs> 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 like, good. It was 
Lord. <laughs> no, sincerely. Anybody that leaves you, you're supposed to be thanking God for that person. Like, oh, yeah. God, we give you. God. I know you get hurt and everything. Yeah. It's it's normal. We are all human and we have emotions. If you don't get hurt, that means you never love the person in the first place. Exactly. So you getting hurt is just it's part of the process. Exactly. You get it. So once you're hurt, you heal. But some people don't want to heal. They don't want to heal. You keep they just hold on. Injuring yourself. <laughs> that's keep, it. Keep getting yourself injured. And that's that's really not necessary for your health. Exactly. Your health is more important than anything. Please and please. Any mm-hmm. guy or any lady that just breaks up with you, move on. Mm-hmm. Move on. You're gonna get a better person. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, do it. Yes. Cool. <laughs> oh, we are talking about moving on. Uh, we, we, we are seeing uh, our uncle Justin Bieber mm. that moved on from Selena Gomez. He, he made me like, I, sh- I don't want to talk about that relationship <laughs> because I'm a die hard fan of, you know, just, Justin Bieber. Just Gomez. Mm. Yeah, you get. So. I don't want to. I don't want to go deep into their relationship. But uh, our main concern now is that our uncle is sick. He's seriously sick. Mm, he has real bad. He has um, uh, RHF. What they call it again? Ramsey Hunt. Uh, For Lee, man, he has special paralysis. Yes, <laughs> Ramsey Hunt uh, uh, syndrome. That's what they call it. Like just call it again. What do you call it? Ramsey Hunt para- um, syndrome. Mm. So for those of us that are on the same Ramsey level with me, he has facial paralysis. One side of his face is, is, you know, he doesn't move and everything. He's just, he just one. Like, really, yeah, really sad experience. He's smiling. Oh, yeah. It's really, really bad. It's really, when I saw the, the video of him, I was like, ah, uncle. Mm, mm. You should have been with my Selena. What is it now? Why, why, wait, you, why are you tying um, what's happening to him right now to the fact that he left Selena? Why, I why feel it's that? God punishing him. Really? Yeah, because I, I feel, you know, they say karma, karma is, um, karma, karma is wearing a skirt. So, <laughs> I don't want to use the word. Well, so karma is wearing a skirt now. She has actually visited him. Because it wasn't, what he did to Selena was not nice. What did he do? He just left her. They, they, they broke up like two months. Two months after they but broke up, you uncle, just uncle said, was cheating on her. But you just—it was better he was cheating no, and I, left. No, I, I than if to you remain want to, if together you, if and you still want cheat. To be in a relationship, just go with all your mind and all your loyalty and everything. Selena was never cheating on him. She never that was what he did. did. At some point, he felt bad. I felt he felt bad. Like, oh, why am I doing this to this but, girl? But so the that's, law is the law. Up. Karma will still get back at him. And that. I, think that's what I, I, I just think uh, we have, as the fans, we have a way of being sentimental and trying to tie <laughs> things to go our way. Because what if the same thing happened to him if he was still with Selena Gomez? Would have still yeah, tied it to something that, else? That's, that's true. That's true. That's so true. I, I, I don't think... He broke up. You said it's just now you said move on he decided to move yeah, on he, he just, moved I, on in the relationship that's the point she's got him speechless yeah <laughs> i don't know what's saying so it. in the relationship and he was moving on in the relationship without even letting her know if you want to move on nigga you can move on but let me know carry did you, me along did, did you know the basis of your breakup did you know if he told her that this is what happened you know what's what the media happening? will always bring out is mm-hmm. what we see but that's not always the truth and yeah, yeah. That's not, I mean, that's I've been that's cheating that's on this girl. You have been cheating on your girl. <laughs> okay, I've been cheating on my girl. Okay. And, and I'll feel bad about it. Okay. And I feel, let's just, just break this thing up. I can't keep up you with don't, your you, relationship. You don't use your this relationship. To, to, to judge our relationship. Don't let your conscience judge our relationship. But, because you cheated on me. Okay, talk to me about it. Do you know if I will forgive you? That means you've actually had intentions of actually leaving the relationship, but you don't want to tell me. Well... That's, that's, that's a dirty game. You don't come into a relationship and, and start toiling with people's hearts. It's not possible. Yo, men will always be men. Oh. He said it or he has captured on it. <laughs> men will always be men. <laughs> so it's better to be that kind of man. Not all men, please. So, but if, if you belong to that category of men, it's better to be that man and get out. And don't really mean that man and 
shatter a woman's life. Uh, yes, yes. Don't that's don't what he, that's what he did. Yeah, don't shatter a woman's so life. I, I t- because he pieces her heart. He pieces. <laughs> he pieces. And before you know, my lady came back and she was singing, "What you got? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Look at her now. What you got? Mm, 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 mm. My girl ran out." <laughs> <laughs> in as much as it's funny it's actually it's actually bad because some people with all this they go through depression yeah once they, they start facing anxiety depression yeah. and they even commit suicide and it's, it's true basically basically anything that you know that, that will affect your health please stay away from it and it's not like we are actually happy that uncle is having a facial paralysis. No one no. is happy. We are actually wishing him quick recovery and of everything. Course. He needs to go for therapy, let them all the massage therapy they should, you know, do what they they do so he can recover fast and bring back a lot of jams for us because we're yeah. missing his voice. Right he's even gonna affect the fans because yeah. he's gonna take a break. We are missing his voice already, even before yeah. he's going and this morning I woke up and I was seeing his face everywhere. They, they started using him as ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> ambassador for paralysis, facial paralysis. <laughs> no, we are not nice. <laughs> In fact, so, some of the persons who had this picture put up there had to screenshot the parts where he had his eyes I mean, his closed eyes and his nose <laughs> to one point. It was terrible. Come I'm on. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> no, please. Uncle, you need to come out of that. Mm-hmm. You need to come out of that. You need to sound strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like our uh, video we say, I'll stand mm-hmm. strong. Mm-hmm. You know, just stand up. <laughs> All right, so moving ahead, we're going to our uh, next discussion. Okay, yeah, we're talking. About, I want to talk about the Owo killings. Mm-hmm. I I got a uh, news um on Friday that um uh, the Owo women came up and summoned the God of Iron. Yeah, I saw the video. Yeah, they came up the and video. the anger, the pain, and everything. They summoned the God of Iron and everything. And that same day, mm-hmm. some people that okay, according to the news, they said some people were caught. Mm-hmm. There's been quite a lot of prayers, quite a lot of things. That same day, I saw that video. A person, I saw in, on, on a person's status of how that the pastor of Salvation Ministries, yeah. that uh, was his name now, David Ibiome, how he came out on the altar and was praying specifically no, that is, in seven this days. Has, this has actually, it has touched the Those, core. I'm telling you. It has touched the core. And everybody <coughs> is not sitting down now. Everybody is, is taking actions to their hands now. Mm. Because I saw a lot of clips of pastors going to the church with vinegars, like, <laughs> AK-17. <laughs> no, That's church, where we are now. Pastors with with AK-47, like AK-14, all of them. Are you sure you, you, didn't, just, you didn't come to work with your... <laughs> you sure? Are you sure? So my workplace is secure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's very secure. <laughs> the security here is tight. You get... This is not as a rock, but it's still tight. <laughs> so I saw I saw clips of uh, even church members. Yeah. They were praying and so we're, we're just striking their cutlasses on the mm. floor. Skill! Ah, <laughs> I said this before in soup. <laughs> That's where we are now. People have to stand up and really protect themselves. Yeah, people are protecting themselves. Like nobody's waiting for the government now. Of because course. In as much as we youth, we are striving, we are, we are struggling for uh, uh, our own candidate that mm. we have in our mind mm. to actually come up and lead us, we are still taking that law to our hands, like mm. holding um, protective, uh, taking protective measures, like mm. going out with... Um, pocket knives yeah. or pepper sprays or um cutlasses or some are even using shovel <laughs> <laughs> you want to go and cultivate plants somebody's head you want to cultivate somebody's head all yeah, right it's, it's, and, 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 and you know still still in nigeria have you seen the trends of how that's the pvc no pvc yeah, no entry no entry, no entry. and i feel that's the way to go that's the way we move we need to get to the right this time around this i've seen it. there have been so many papers and so many articles find that if nigeria misses it in this 2023 it's more like this is nigeria's last chance yes so we have to right. move I'm no no the, 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 the nigerians are actually taking things Really, Seriously, really, no. really serious now because everybody's just going on and really? going on with that PVC thing. If you don't, if you don't get your PVC, you're not entering the church. You're not entering. If you're not even places it. of receptions and all of that. I, I showed you a video of how <laughs> the man yeah, was the man. embarrassed. The man was <laughs> in the reception. It was more like a reception gathering. I think. I think yeah. that was the MC. Yeah. And he didn't have his PVC, and he shamefully had to go out. He and had all to that. go out. He was even telling him, "Drop the water. Drop the water." <laughs> 
<laughs> drop the bottle you don't you don't deserve to you don't take deserve to, to take our bottle of water it's that serious nigerians <laughs> if you're in nigeria uh, and you're out there please kindly go get your pvc nigeria needs to get it right this time around yeah. go talking will not do it we've talked and talked nigerians have been talking talking do not do the votes talking don't do the vote it does not elections are not won on twitter Mm. Mr. Phil, one, one of our consultants over here will always say, it's not one on Twitter. It's not it's one on social PC. media it's not either. One it's not one on doing your Snapchat and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's one when you go out, get your PVC, vote for the person you exactly. want. Exactly. Exactly. One vote can actually make somebody win. Do you know that? Just a vote. Of course. So what are you doing? Why sitting down at home not doing anything? You feel mm. it's stressful? Okay, they brought it down to you. Everybody, it's online now. You can actually do your mm. registration online. Then mm. when you go there, you show them your registration and they give you PVC. Uh, and I was even seeing um, uh, a post from this popular celebrity, William to Chamber, how he yeah. came out to say that yeah. he would rather go stay on the line for eight hours to get his PVC and votes than miss out on voting and stay in misery for and eight for years. For eight years. I mean, that's, eight that's hours, like, eight years. So what's oh, that stress? What, 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 what stress do you want to go through? Please. It's better you go through the stress of eight hours than I'm going you. through another stress for eight it's You're years. not even sure if the person will come back after, come down of after course. eight years. Of course. Because you know the of way they, they, they do now. Of uh, course. I want so to elongate everything. Now. I want to go more. So that's it. We here at Food and Health Communications, we are soliciting with you. If you're a Nigerian, a true Nigerian, whether in Nigeria or in the diaspora, oh, in diaspora. please go get your PVC. Yeah. We need to get it right this time around. Me too. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching this video. This is Yeni Solisti on My Food and Health. My name is Victor Waber. Thank you. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our social media pages. Mm -hmm. Stay safe. You will come your way next time. I will say it again. Stay safe. Stay safe. Don't <laughs> fight at 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>